six years old, I broke my leg. I was running from my brother and his friends. And tasted the sweet perfume of the mountain grass I rolled down. I was younger then. My name is Daniel, and if you're new to this channel, I teach you how to play songs on acoustic guitar. This video is going to be for Ed Sheeran's song, Castle on the Hill. It's in standard tuning, so go ahead and get your guitar tuned before getting started. And, uh, of course, I'll have the tabs on the screen as I'm showing you how to play it. Go ahead and get started. Alright, we're going to start with the verse. It's going to sound like this. going to tell you all the chords we're going to be using, but I don't want you to play the high E string even though you're going to be using that full chord later. So what I mean is, for example, this D chord, which is open open D string, 2nd fret G, 3rd fret B, 2nd fret high E, I just don't want you to play the high E 
and it's going to go for each of these chords. Now you're going to use the full chord in the chorus, but for the verse, just remember, don't play the high E string. Um, so, D major, and then we're going to do a D over F sharp, and that's going to be 2nd fret, low E. You're going to lightly touch the A string so it doesn't ring out. And you're going to have an open D string and 2nd fret G string, and you want your 3rd uh, fret B and 3rd fret high E as well. Next is going to be a G chord, and all you have to do is uh, move to the 3rd fret of the low E. Again, lightly touch the A string so it doesn't ring out. And then 3rd fret B and high E string. Then we have a variation of, uh, I think it's a B minor 7th, but it's going to be the 2nd fret A string, open D string, 2nd fret G string, and then 3rd fret B and high E string. And then the last chord we're going to use is going to be an A suspended 4th, and that's going to be open A, 2nd fret D, 2nd fret G, 3rd fret B, and 3rd fret high E. So those are the chords you're going to use throughout the song, but again, for the verses, I don't want you playing that high E. I don't want to hear that note right there. Now the easiest way I can help you remember the strumming pattern is to just say 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So it's eight counts, but you want to do it in that pattern. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Each uh, one that I'm counting, I'm doing a little more emphasis. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Um, and I'm going to be doing that for the whole strumming pattern on this verse. Um, but for the D chord, you're just going to strum one, two, three, one, two, three. And then it's a quick switch to the D over F sharp. Um, and you're going to do two strums there. And these are all down strums. So. And then you're going to move over to the G chord. And then you're going to just continue that strumming pattern. But you don't need to switch um, like you did from the D to the F, D over F sharp. So this is just going to be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So first three chords so far. slower next chord after this is going to be that B minor 7 so again 2nd fret uh, A string 2nd fret G leave the D string open and 3rd fret B and you can do the same strumming pattern chord is going to be an A suspended 4th and again that's open A, 2nd fret D and G string and 3rd fret B. Same strumming pattern. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So all these chords together I'm going to play a little bit slower and then I'll try regular speed. Keep up if you can. switch from the D to the D over F sharp and G. If you can handle that, you can handle this whole song. But that's how you play the verses. Next part up is going to be the hook, and that's the part just before the chorus. So you're going to start with the G chord here, and this time you can put your pinky on the third part of that high E string. You're still going to be palm muting these like you did with the verse, um, but you can actually press down on that fret because in the chorus you're going to need it. So it's going to be the same strumming pattern, but we're going to start with the G, and we're going to go to the A suspended 4th, and then the D major, and then back to the G. And we're going to do that whole progression twice. So again, same strumming pattern. just going to repeat the G chord and then you're going to strum it down once on the A suspended fourth. This is what I mean. That's when he says, 
So the G chord, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, A, is just the downstroke. So the hook all together a little bit slower and then regular speed. speed then you move on to the chorus all right now the chorus is going to be really easy for you because it's played just like the verse but without the uh, palm muting you just strum the chords regularly and uh, you actually play the high E string. So now you can do it, don't do it for the verses. But anyway, the chorus is going to sound like this. Like I said, it's played just like the verse, but all of these are going to be downstrokes, and you're going to kind of do a crescendo. You can get louder as you want. You don't have to play it softly, or you can if you want to. But again, same strumming pattern. So for the D major chord, down, 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 down. When you switch to the F, D over F sharp, G, down, 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 B minor, down, down, down. just repeat this throughout the chorus. Now after the first chorus, just before going back into the second verse, um, he just strums a D chord really loud uh, for two measures. So the same way you've been strumming it before, um, and sorry if this is too loud, but it goes like this. Like I said, all he's doing is those down strums. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, He plays it louder and louder before going back into the next verse, which again is palm muted. The uh, second chorus, you don't need to do the uh, strum that D major chord. Alright, the last part of the song is the bridge, and that's actually pretty simple as well. Um, you just change the order of the chords. So you're still going to be using that uh, B minor 7, G, D major, and then the A suspended 4th. Um, but again, since these are palm muted, don't play that high E string. Uh, but you play them in that order, and it's the same strumming pattern. So it's still going to go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, and then switch chord. Um, there's no D over F sharp in this one, though. So again, it's going to go in this order. B minor 7, G, D, and then A suspended 4th. But I'll palm mute it. So here we go, a little bit slow. So it's very simple. All right, the last thing I want you to know is after the bridge during the last chorus, um, you're going to palm mute the chorus chords for the first half of it because um, he gets a little bit quiet. Um, you know, he says, I'm on my way. start strumming like you normally would. When then he gets really loud and then you start strumming like normal. So again, just palm music.
hit the first half of that last chorus. And that's how you play the song. Alright guys, that does it for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment box down below. Also, I recently just started putting a link uh, with the tabs as a downloadable document in the link description. So please click those and let me know if they work. Um, that way I can go back and put them on all, all my previous videos. And if you thought this was a good lesson and you learned something, please click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to, you can leave a donation on my main channel page. Don't have to. Again, all my content is free, but you can if you want. It's there. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video, and as always, thanks for watching.